Now let's uh, go into a little more detail about the 2014 Super Bowl. That was the Super Bowl where the Patriots beat Pete Carroll and the Seahawks, the defending champs, because the year before, the Seahawks crushed Denver 43-8. to So, again, that Super Bowl is known for Malcolm Butler, uh, Pete Carroll, worst call in Super Bowl history, Russell Wilson, worst play, throw in Super Bowl history, and, uh, th you know, they didn't want to give it to Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch on the one-yard line. Uh, Patriots fans aren't complaining, but just absolute disaster. Uh, in that game, Russell Wilson threw a pass, and we remember it was bobbled, and they caught it, and Malcolm Butler pushed the guy out of bounds at the five. Then they ran it on first down to Beast Mode. Beast Mode went from the five to the one, and then that's when all confusion happened because Pete Carroll thought that Belichick was going to call a timeout, and he didn't, and it wasted 40 seconds. If you look at that on YouTube, you'll blow your mind because Seattle had second down at the one-yard line plus a timeout and over a minute left. They had everything there. They could have called the timeout, say, slow down, call a timeout. No, they wasted 45 seconds because they thought Belichick was going to call a timeout. And what Belichick did was he just left his defense on the field and he said, just play base defense uh, because Belichick is known for he'll let, like, Josh McDaniels and – and, uh, you know, defensive coordinators run the defense, and it's a lot of times Belichick's looking at the other coach. And he obviously uh, did a great job in that, uh, you know, with the Malcolm Butler. You go, but Pete Carroll and uh, Bevel was the offensive coordinator for Seattle, and Russell Wilson must have been saying, who's this guy, undrafted rookie Malcolm Butler? So we, we, we could take him on. All of it. But if you watch that play, Malcolm Butler's in the back. Browner, who he played for Seattle the year before and helped them get a ring, now he's in the Super Bowl uh, with the Patriots. He turned around like this, and he said to Malcolm Butler, the pick play's coming. And you can see on that play, Browner doesn't let his the receiver go anyway. He kind of stops like that. The other receiver makes the play. Malcolm Butler breaks for it, and the rest is history. Uh, you know, considered one of the great Super Bowls that uh, – Beating Seattle and Pete Carroll uh, is Patriots fans, or I like to say Pete Carroll is one of Patriots fans' best buddies. Another great buddy for Patriots fans is Dan Quinn.